bank holiday weekend and typical <laughs> isn't it that the old uk weather takes a turn during the bank holiday weekend but never mind i'm not going to let it uh, disrupt our plans this weekend so we've come to walney island in Barron furness we've got a nice little park up here right next to the beach a little bit uh, cloudy and overcast out there tonight but i'll show you I'll show you the park up in the morning and how close we are to the beach but it looks pretty good yeah and if you go that way in the morning and it's clear you might see isle of man all right okay we'll keep an eye out for that in the morning and we're also going to head down um a bit further south down walney island is it south or is it north depends on much i've got the maps orientated north south south <laughs> North, south, east or west. And there's a uh, castle called Peel Castle on an island not too far from here. It's obviously only accessible by, uh, by a small ferry. So we're going to see if we can get that ferry in the morning and head over to uh, to Peel Castle and see what that's that's like. Obviously depending on the weather because like, yeah. it's rough. It's obviously depending <laughs> on the weather because it's... Uh, yeah. It's not meant to be good this bank holiday weekend, but hey, we expect that, don't we, on a bank holiday weekend? It is weekend. what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, then after that, uh, just looking at the quick map here, quick. Um, there's Walney Aerodrome on here as well that we can have a wander up to. Yep. Right. Are you happy to be on the camera now? <laughs> yes, even though I probably don't look any different than what I did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go and uh, explore our park up. Yeah, well, we we stayed here last night. Take Arla for a walk, hey? She's been good, hasn't she? It's a salon going to go Waiting to go out. Yeah, good girl. Whoa! You can hear the sea. There you go. Hey, Arla. This is where we parked last night. Oh. few vans there. Yeah. Did you bring bags? Yes, I have bags. One. Oh. Two. I'm just going to pop these there. Uh... Go off. Gonna play? Got these Go on then. as well. Got these fitted. Go on then. Oh, when we first got it. <laughs> Let's go. Mm -hmm. Really rough this morning. Just a bit. We'll have to watch Isla. Huh? Have to watch Isla. Why? Because of the cliff. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not too bad. No. Good old British weather. Yep, that's the Irish Sea there. No chance of seeing the Isle of Man this morning. It's over there. It's over that way. It's over there. there. We're going to obviously take Isla out for a walk this morning, but we're also going to pop up and get our first geocache for a while. Yeah. We used the geocache all the time, didn't we? We used to have that premium membership as well, but uh, we kind of slacked off doing it. I know, it's pointing that way. Well, there's a few here, so let's we'll see if we can find this one. At least it's this way. get one. He's around here somewhere. It's 10 feet, 11 foot. Is it there? This may be it. Yes. yes. You got a stamper? Go. Yep. First cash in a while. Sorry, it's a bit windy. 
there you go. If you want to know what the 66 relates to, it's our favourite road trip. Yep. Route 66 in America. So we had a geocaching stamp made especially for that. I think we might have to try and get away from the coast a little bit. I think so. Maybe. I looked on the weather map tonight, all this side is going to be raining all day. But further in, it's going to be nice. I noticed in our last video as well that uh, these microphones were picking up quite a bit of wind noise. Yeah, so best check them. Yeah, hopefully we've solved that problem. Got the muffs on them. <laughs> got the little furry things. We've got the furry muffs, so that should stop the noise, but... <sighs> Parachute. Ah, oh, parachute signals. Wow. I'll be 216. Para signal squadron. Oh, look, a no here. In the Royal Signals. Obviously, not in the uh, parachute regiment. Who's there? Oh, look, Sergeant Peter Williams thought, born 1969, Barrow Furnace. Oh, look. Rest in peace, brother. So he was born in 1979 and died in 2006 in Afghanistan, fighting the war against terrorism. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. So young. Well, that was Walney Island. Just speaking to... Speaking to a local back then, weren't we, Anna? Yeah. They said they call it Windy Walney. <laughs> I can see why. Wet, nice. wet Walney. Wet Walney. Wet and windy. It was a nice park up, though. It was a nice park up. I just imagine that'd be really nice in the uh, in good weather. But it's really popular in the summer weather. Yeah. You might by the beach. Summer weather. Yeah the summer so we're heading we're going to stick along the coast and we're going to head up to Ascombe in Furness now excuse my fuzz <laughs> I got wet this morning I've got no straighteners I think we need to come back here though when the weather's a bit better because there's the roads were blocked off though weren't they for the road for the nature reserve yeah um, i tell you what we were going to do, we were going to try and see that Peel Castle. Should we just spin around and try that first, while we're here? Yeah. Well, Obviously the, the ferry's not going to be running, is it? Can you get down? Oh yes, it's that way though, isn't it? Let's see if we can spot this uh, castle. Oh, there it is, look. Oh yes. That's Peel Castle over there. Oh, you're not going to be able to turn oh, around. Turn <laughs> I will do. Oh, look. So is that Peel Island? That's Peel Island. That's Peel Castle over there. Oh, right. And then I guess this quiet island is where you get the uh, ferry. The little ferry across. Please do not queue on the jetty. Yeah, look. It must be, yeah. Peel Island and Castle. And then. We were talking to somebody this morning, there's a pub on there um, and if you are the landlord of the pub, apparently you are the King of Peel. Yes, there's something written on that little block down there, see it? Yeah, it says Peel out? Island and Castle. <laughs> we'll get out and film it. I'll have a quick one. Yeah, go on. I think you will. It's a bit choppy though, so that I don't think the fire will be running. It's not a big ferry, it's just like a little boat, dinky. It's not there though. Oh, that's the lights. So Peel Island and Castle were presented to the people of Barrow and District by the Duke of... What's that saying? The Duke of Bulek? 
1920 as a war memorial to all those who gave their lives in the Great War of 1914 to 1918. I was hoping to get over there today, but as you can see, the weather's not great. And the little ferry's not running. So that's for another day. Switch them off. Noisy. So where next? Where it's dry. <laughs> You'll be lucky this 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 bank holiday weekend. The east coast is all dry. I know, but we're on the west. I know. I know. Right. Oh I don't mind. I yeah. don't mind where we go. Anywhere. Well how about this then for a view? That there is the Ribble Head Viaduct. And we are currently parked in the station in Pub Car Park. We've just been in there since about three o'clock. It's now coming up for eight o'clock, Anna. Yeah. We've had some lovely food, a few beers, and great hospitality. And in the in the morning, that path there you can see going off into the distance. And we're going to head out on that for a bit of a walk. What a place to park up. Weather's cleared up a bit now as well. The babies. <laughs> that was an awesome night, wasn't it? That was really good. What a fantastic really park good. up that Look was. Look how busy it is though. I know. Wow. We're... Look at this. This is so busy. Already this morning, it's just after nine o'clock. <coughs> I mean, people started to get here way before this. That's where we parked. Yeah, we parked over there look, for the night. Uh, great night. <laughs> okay, so we're off. Fairly early start this morning. Gonna head out and do the uh, all trails route. I'll pop that link into the video. Obviously, it takes us up past the Ribble Head Viaduct, Beautiful. which was built in 1836. And it consists of 24 32 meter high arches. Oh, check you out. <laughs> it's hard to imagine, isn't it, on this landscape that we're going to be walking through that there was, um, I think, over 2,000 men mm. employed to, to build it. It's impressive. So yeah, we had a really good night last night, didn't we? It was yeah, a good, good, comfortable night. Good. I'll give you a little bit more information later on the station in and the park up there and some of the facilities that they provide. But I'm going to spin you around now and you can have a look at this epic scenery. <laughs> You can see the path's busy already. People heading up. It's about four hours this walk. So that's a really good leg stretch. Burn off those uh, calories from last night from your... Had you had a lovely steak and ale pie last night, didn't you? <coughs> you could tell it was homemade. Yeah. Pastry was just absolutely spot on. <laughs> and that had all the trimmings with it, didn't it? Mashed yeah. potato, veggies. The mash was beautiful. And, gravy. and I had Put a, a Yeah. <laughs> and I had a burger. A burger? It was like a mountain. It was huge, wasn't it? But the burger was actually a homemade burger, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you could tell. Again, we'll drop a picture of that in. But that, that was good value for money last night. You know, we yeah. had... Um, I think all in all, so we had the two meals. How many beers did we have? One, three. two, three. We had three. Three yeah. beers, maybe four. 70 quid. 60. Well, we had beers before that, before food that I paid for. Oh, right. So yeah, that's right. put them on. Yes. I forgot about them. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's all right. Oh, well, that was good. You know. My clothes are still fitting this morning. <laughs> 
So yeah, it was. Good. I I thought it was good. I thought it was really good, and and it was the hospitality in there was fantastic. Oh, it was so the service was was quite quick. Oh, they came to the table. Yeah. Didn't they? The food. So again, I'll uh, give you a bit more information on that later. Lambs about. Mm. So nice, Anna, is it? Are you going to be saying that when we're up there somewhere? We're going up there. I think that's a route. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can do it. So you said this is going well. I did say this is going well, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, nice path, nice warm, nice flat. And then we looked and we're going up there with them people walking. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> It'll be absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. I'm done. All right. Done old man the store. Done. What's the other one? Old man tour. tour. Yeah. This will be a breeze. Yeah. <laughs> achievement at the end of it isn't it the sense this of achievement is isn't it hey. sense of yeah. achievement when at the end finish the walk and get yourself a lovely ice cream as well. Look at that. Amazing. Left. No ice cream for us. I'm saving myself for a beer. <coughs> Anna's just choking on the nuts. Stop my watch. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
that was uh, nearly eight and a half miles. <laughs> it was fantastic, and you can see it behind. And there it is. That's where we've been today. Awesome. <laughs> now it's time to get cleaned up. Especially I, look. You can see in a while. You show everybody how well you've done today. Look at her, look. She's been so good. <laughs> 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 Right, so that there is the station in here in Ribblehead, and that's where we stayed for the last couple of nights, believe it or not. The food hospitality in there was fantastic. Uh, after doing the Wernside yesterday, I think we both needed a bit of a rest in there, so we just decided to stay the night. It was a fantastic place there. I'll show you the car park in a minute where we are. Got all the facilities. And then behind us there is Ribblehead Station. And that's on the uh, Settled to Carlisle line, which runs up there. So I think today the plan is to slowly head back towards home. We're gonna try and pick up some of some more of these viaducts along the way. I'll have a wander over now and I'll show you the, the car park where we parked the last couple of nights. This is where we parked. disposal over there as well. Ruble head fired up to the back there and one side at the back. Morning. Morning. That's us. There's plenty of space. See it's clear on the top this morning because it wasn't yesterday. Maybe today would have been a better day for it. There we go. 